Welcome to the new Cognos Analytics. So what we're going to do here is we're going to upload a couple Excel files. We're going to create a data module that joins them together and we're going to make some dashboard objects. So here's just some World Bank data that I downloaded. It's about population and GDP. So as you can see, actually when I uploaded the first file, it recognized the fields as attributes or measures. So you can see here again, above the main fact there, the population total, you can see that little icon. It knows that that's a number, that it's a measure, which comes into play later. And to illustrate the data module and the joining of files, here's the translation file that will take the country code and turn it into the economy name. So I'm going to click New Data Module. And I'm going to select from my uploaded files, just those three unrelated Excel files. I'm just going to rename it here, something that makes sense. Alright, so I'm going to bring in my three data sources. And when I say unrelated, I mean in the data module so far, because we haven't done anything, they're unrelated. It's just three separate files. So I'm just going to rename this first one. And now we're going to join them. So you can just click join on the fields that you want. And this is what's really cool. You don't have to necessarily know it should be an inner or outer or whatever. It tells you what it, you know, the options are here in business language. So essentially this is an outer join, but I didn't necessarily have to know that terminology. So there, now you can see it actually makes a little representation of the data. You can see there's a link between the economy dim and the one of the data sets, but the other one is still unrelated. So what we're going to do is create the join for the other one on the country code. Same kind of way. And there we go. Now there's lines between the objects. Now they're all related. So now that I have a data module, I'm going to make a new dashboard. Actually, what's really cool here is it comes with some templates to help you organize your dashboard. I'm just going to go with this simple four block for now. And now, you know, you can go through here. I'm picking my data module that we just created. And so here you can see all the fields, right? As soon as you drag on one of the facts, look what it did. It automatically summed it up. This is the total GDP. It knows because it's a measure. Now, as soon as I drop a dimension on there, it's, I didn't choose bar chart. It automatically made that because it thought that's what makes sense. Now, really, I think this is a little too busy. Maybe we should just filter down you know, to the top 10. But the cool part is that it automatically figured out, based on the data, that it makes sense to make it this kind of chart. I'm just going to change the sort order here. Maybe I'll change the color. Gives you some easy options to change the palette. You can change the background. When you change the background to black, see how it automatically makes the font white. It's very intuitive. Okay, so let's just resize it. Maybe I'll give it a title. All right, so there's one object. All right, now let's bring another one on. So here we're going to do the same kind of thing. We're going to bring the measure over. It's going to automatically aggregate it up. Gives it a nice little label there. As soon as I bring in another dimension, it figures out, okay, this makes sense. Let's make this kind of bar chart. Again, I don't want it to be every single country. I'm going to filter down to the top ten. change the sort. And I'll just make it look like the other one, so I'll go with the black background. You know, actually, I don't want it to be a bar chart. I'm going to change it. I'm going to give it a title first, but then I think I'm just going to going to change it to a different kind of chart.
So let's just change it here. I'm going to change it to a pie chart. Alright, so there's two dashboard objects we just made in a couple minutes. And actually, there's some pretty cool interactive features available without me doing anything. As soon as you click on one, see what happened? It highlighted that same thing in the other chart for the same country code. So the dashboard knows that these are related because of the data module that we made. And in this case, I chose a tabbed dashboard, so I'm just going to rename this tab so it makes sense. And then let's make a second tab. I'm just going to go freeform this time. And the reason I wanted to do this is to show you something about how easy it is to make a prompt. So here's some details. Again, we're going to bring out the measures, right? And it's going to automatically sum them up to the total. And it also gives it a nice label. You know, there, as soon as I resize things, the text resizes, it's real easy. And now, watch what happens if I bring a dimension out, but I don't drop it on the measure, I drop it all by itself it automatically makes it a prompt. So, as soon as I click one, the two numbers get updated. You can even multi-select. So, there you have it. I mean, that's pretty interactive without me doing a lot of technical things. Really, it was all drag and drop, as you saw. And now we have a two-tab dashboard. There's a prompt. There's even some interactivity between the two different objects. There you go, Cognos Analytics.